My husband's son is missing, so we hired a lawyer to find him, and I was not expecting what we found. This sounds like an episode of Special Victims Unit. Yeah. Reddit edition. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Honestly, dun, dun. we could probably create a whole law and order just based off of Reddit oh, stories. Yeah, oh, yeah. If we hey, wanted hey to. Netflix, sign us up. We're us ready. Up. Get us in, coach. We're the next Dick Wolf. <laughs> Dick dogs. Dick the dick dog. <laughs> the dick, ooh, ooh. That's our production company. Dick dogs. Yeah. Also known as the Red Rockets. <laughs> the lipsticks. The lipsticks. <laughs> Yum. If you have a dog, you know what we're talking about. God. <laughs> That sounds so like insinuating. We're not we're not trying to insinuate anything on you dog lovers. Truly, out there. No, nothing. We're dog lovers ourselves. It's all but not like that. We're all one. We're all one. <laughs> so. On to our story. So my husband got married at 18 because the girl he was with was pregnant. A shotgun wedding, as you will. You know, it's uh, not 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 the best situation to be in, I would imagine. Hey, if there's not a shotgun, I'm not getting married. Hey, there we go. It's, you, you need the push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just get a little bump. Yeah, a little, a little convincing. You That's know? right. <laughs> and right after the baby was born, she confessed that the baby might not be his. I feel like you do that when you say, hey, like, I'm pregnant. Yeah, like, I'm, Maybe, I, I think I think the courteous thing is yeah. to uh, say that you cheated before you have the baby. But what if you're trying to get that bag, though? That's true. That's true. I, I, I you know, that, that Birkin bag. If you I'm know, trying, trying to, to get... siphon money from you, I will definitely not tell you. That is true. You know, John is trying to siphon money think, from me think right about now. It. Think about it. John yeah. just told me that he's pregnant. That's and right. I'm the father. Exactly. So um, and we're not getting the test. We're not. We're not getting the test. <laughs> we won't end up on. We Reddit. just have a shotgun. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. So. My husband left her and he took care of them financially until he met me. And he's like, get and this. That, get this estranged old son hag out of here. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got a new hag in town. That's right. I got a new, new hag. hag who wants a new bag. That's right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> who wants it? Who, wa who wants this bag? I'm throwing them out <laughs> like Cheerios. Just, just on passing Sunday. them out. Mm. Now, he said that she had to sign divorce papers and do a DNA test if she wanted to keep receiving money from him at this point. She made sure that my husband didn't have any contact with the kid. And every single time he requested a DNA test, she disappeared with the kid. So he never made any efforts to have a relationship with him. That's Yikes. so shitty. It's just terrible situation. All around. Also, also very, very suspicious. Oh, super like, suspicious. Hey, this is your kid. But I. Uh... Oh, you want me to do a DNA test? I'm oh, gonna skip down. Just like Roadrunner. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know it's none of my business, but I still decided to look him up. Look who up? <laughs> that that ba sweet baby boy. Mm, yeah, mm. you got you got to do your fact checking when you're looking up uh, anyone that you're suspicious about. Exactly. And if OP's really trying to find out if this estranged son is actually his, you should do a little background check see if everything's on the up and up probably use like public data check or something yeah exactly i mean she needs to know who this person is where they are and need to do it quickly like public data check can find it instantly so if anyone watching wants to check up on some of the people around them check out public data check the kid turns 18 this month and i was really really curious 18, 18. the big one eight finally uh, no more child support I thought you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna say. Oh, he's like, oh, eighteen, are you? Oh no. <laughs> Let's see if you bad. built like your daddy. daddy. <laughs> I had the old bottle. How about the new and improved? I'm out. The 2022 edition. Mm. Longer, faster, stronger. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I did find his social media, but his last post was from four years ago. Hmm. That's that's what weird for a teenager. Old, well, I mean, uh, but what what social media are they looking it up at? Like, are they going on Facebook? Like, last post four years. Ago. I haven't posted shit in you Facebook. Know, MySpace, maybe. MySpace. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Classic. Classic. I, I, I bet these kids on TikTok don't even know what MySpace is. They're like, who who's space? Who's space? Honestly, I I never used MySpace. I neither did I. Yeah, I was exactly. in the era, but I ended up. Just yeah, I understand what it is, but I was not old enough to actually like use it. I well, I think people our age they just used it without being i am 13 
Oh, I would never lie to the internet. Yeah. Oh, if we've, we've never done that. I've never lied. Don't no, no, I'm no. not a catfish. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. And I started looking up his family on social media after that. And I found that there's literally no mention of him since 2018. No pictures, no tags, no mention of him at all. This after 2018. Suspicious. Super suspicious. Suspicious. And it looks like his grandfather currently has cancer. And there's been a lot of activity around that from the whole family. But the kid is nowhere to be found. I think it's some Facebook. This sounds like Facebook to me. Yeah, this definitely sounds like some Facebook activities. I, I, d- d- all right. Like uh, maybe there is something suspicious going on. But what 18 year old uses Facebook? There we Come go. Come on. There we go. Exactly. Maybe four years ago. What if it is TikTok? There's no way everyone's it's posting like <laughs> grandpa has cancer. Yeah. Part one, <laughs> part three out of 30. Good everyone's God. doing a little dance to the. That's, that's where we're, that's where we're headed. Cancer. Yeah. What? Grandpa, take the oxygen tank dance. This <laughs> is the all, oxygen. They already dance. have shit like that where it's like, it's like my grandpa's dying. <laughs> Not surprised. Not surprised in the no, least. Not no, surprised. No. In the least. Hey, hey, you got to get clout somehow. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, not everyone can be OKOP. That's you true. Know? Um, not any. Not just anyone can read or write a story. It takes. Oh, it takes skill. It, it takes, takes time. Like it takes, reading. It takes. Yeah. It, it takes a re. Takes at least a third grade, third grade reading level. skill. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, Maybe even fourth grade. There's Maybe. Some, there's how big words people throw oh, out yeah. here. Like ex-husband, mm-hmm. stepdaughter. Stepsister, nut juice, nut juice. That's when you got to be above gotta, fourth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that takes high IQ. That's right. And also, my husband's ex changed her profile picture that year to one of those black ribbons that you put when somebody passes away, which makes me believe he might have passed away. Who? The son. Here, maybe the son you. passed away. That's that's what it's looking no like. No way. That's what it's looking like. How about the grandpa? The grandpa is sick. Grandpa seems sick, but still kicking, still around. Apparently, that would be so fucked if she's collecting, uh, uh, if she's collecting child support for her dead son. Well, I think she's like long skedaddled, so I don't think she's recently collected anything. But it's possible that she's collected. Well, I thought I thought like he was paying until in the beginning, like when he was like a little kid. But now that he's like eight, she like ran away with him probably years before he turned Shit, 18. Yeah. And I told my husband about this and he decided to hire a lawyer to investigate. He clearly looks affected by this. Yeah. I mean, who, who wouldn't, wouldn't be? be? Yeah. Ooh, jinx. jinx. You know me so, uh... <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> and the worst thing is the kid literally looks exactly like my husband. And there's really no denying that it is his child. Every time I touched a subject in the past, he would get very, very defensive, telling me it's none of my business. Now my husband is angry at me and really affected by the entire situation. Wait, why is the husband angry at her? It seems. Well, uh, I guess she is kind of snooping. She's going down a big snoop hole. Uh, this will be this will be a good one, I think, to unpack. But yeah, it's a, definitely like a weird scenario. It's like, like the it's, new wife. Yeah, it's not isn't her, actually. It's not her business, you know. Technically, but yeah, that's 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 a tricky one. Um, but there is an update. What's the update? So everyone, I understand I effed up and there's no question about it, but I want to clarify a few things. We've been effed up as in snooped as in snooped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Um, so we are, we're in agreement that she's a dirty, dirty snooper, dirty, filthy Filthy snooper. snooper. We have been together for the past 14 years and she provided a divorce, but no DNA test. So he did give her some money over the years, but not a set amount like child support. And she stopped asking for money years and years ago. I had when the kid died. (sighs) Maybe, maybe Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll We'll see. see. I had to tell him because I couldn't keep this from him. I just do not like lying. And it was only the search. I didn't ask for any documents or hire anyone to look him up. But my husband will at this point. Interesting. So she kind of like opened the doorway for yeah. him to actually pursue more. But yeah. It, yeah, it's still it's still not her. It's still not her. Yeah. Still still a bit dicey. Yeah, um, a little dicey. There's another edit. Another um, edit. Jeez. <laughs> No new information yet, but my husband is no longer angry and wants me to be the one who takes care of contacting and working with a lawyer to get all of the information. I will do this next week and post an update when I get the full info. So now wow. he's done like a complete 180. Wow. And having her he's grateful take like do the search. Um, and there's one final edit. 
The lawyer we hired to look for the kid told us there is no death certificate on our state and he was not able to find anything about him other than he finished secondary school but did not go to high school. My husband's ex is not what? willing to talk or share any information, so we're still waiting for the lawyer to find something else. Yo, where's this kid? This is the weirdest thing ever. Like That's so weird. Just basically disappears, no death certificate, not but, going to high school. Honestly, I would like probably report the child it, is missing report the child is missing and at least like go to the police and be like look i don't know exactly what's going on but like the mom is the close caretaker yeah and he didn't go to high school and there's no isn't it illegal for you to not go to high school yeah i don't know what the like i'm there's, pretty sure it's i mean it's, there's definitely some sort of thing around it i'm right? pretty sure it's illegal for you not to go to high school unless you're like homeschooled right right yeah this is uh, to me, honestly, this ex is like very fishy. She was already fishy with not doing the DNA tests, which now it's like o OP thinks it's her husband's son. So it's like, yeah. why if if she thinks it's the son, what's why not the do issue? The, what's the issue? Why not yeah. just do the DNA test? And then this is like an insane like OP really didn't stress about how weird of a scenario this is. Yeah, it's like, this really is freaky, super fishy. Yeah, I, I'm I'm just worried for the kid now. No, yeah, me too. I mean yeah. Hey, Operation f Operation Find This Kid. That's right. If you've seen this kid, well, you know, we get, don't get, have, get we, the milk card. We, we have a have, Reddit description. Yeah, yeah. We have this story. If He's you see 18. A male. And that's the, the male. male. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Why? But we. I mean, this anything could have happened in between. Any? It, yeah, zero because and he literally didn't go to high school. Yeah. So. I guess we'll see. Wait Reddit for another sleuths. update. I'm, I'm, I'm looking We're counting to you. On you. We're counting on you. Show us what you find. Today I effed up by using boiled eggs to masturbate. Mmm, that sweet, sweet yolk. Hey, that's how you get scrambled eggs, yo. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> this happened just now. I never thought I'd have to post anything like this. Really, you didn't have to post this at all, actually. No, you didn't. You could have just gone around your day and not posted masturbation stories to the internet. But here you are, and here we are reading mm -hmm. about it. For obvious reasons, I can't tell this to anyone I know. So you poor souls... Are gonna have to read this Ooh. again we didn't have to we didn't we didn't but here we are but here we are about two hours ago i got a little horny oh, and yeah. had the glorious idea to boil a few eggs and find out how many of them i can fit inside my vagina yeah uh, i took a turn you know i thought i was gonna be a man masturbating. I, I thought they, there are like eggs i've heard of uh, uh, yeah. like a little egg in japan yeah. Just, so it's like how many can i fit it's like a rust russian nesting doll Interesting, I, and I guess like the the or kind like of golden gelatinous tennis balls. thing. That sounds like a recipe Are for danger. Peeling though. the eggs. One would hope so. Yeah, because that would you know a little crunchy. Oof. Um, horniness makes us do all stupid, <laughs> all kinds of stupid things. But I seem to be extraordinarily brain dead. So once the eggs were boiled and cooled down, I lay in my bed with the eggs next to me. Got a ton of lube. Opened up a porn video. And got started. Oh, yeah. Call me a mother hen because I'm going from one to ten eggs. Ooh. Laying them all inside. Egg number one went inside just fine. Ooh, slip and slide. Flawless. Egg number two followed with ease like a breeze. Egg number three got stuck halfway in. <laughs> So I started rubbing myself as I slowly pushed the egg further inside. <laughs> All of a sudden, the worst sound possible. A crunch. Oh. oh I removed did. the last egg and put a finger inside me to find that my worries were confirmed. At least one of the eggs inside me had cracked. What do you expect you, to happen, I'm bro? I'm sorry you're so dumb. I'm so sorry. Hard boiled? I could much more understand. Dude, you sneeze once and those eggs are all cracking. If you're doing your Kegels properly, dude, you're cracking <sighs> eggs easily like a chef down there. Wow. Okay. Let's, let's see what happens. I tried pretty successfully not to panic and thought about what to do. Unfortunately for this context, I have something for enemas and recently bought an enema nozzle and recently bought an enema nozzle for my shower hose. So I put that on my shower hose, started the water and put it inside myself 
with a quite aggressive stream. Spent an hour, uh, spent about an hour flushing out egg shells and boiled egg. Once all the broken pieces seemed to be out, I checked again with my fingers. One egg was still in there. My God. Whoa, a whole egg? A whole egg? But it what? seemed intact. But the egg was all the way back there. I put lube on, squatted down, and tried to push it out like a hen laying an egg. <laughs> but the thing didn't move. I kept trying different positions, but it seemed hopeless. After numerous stupid things, I tried to get the last egg out. I used my index finger and middle finger of both hands, trying to keep myself opened as I pushed, and then finally got the egg out, and it was still intact. I proceeded to go back in the shower, rinse myself some more, and hopefully get this thing out. I don't feel any things in here, but of course I can't be sure because I'm a little paranoid. Bruh! Of course you're going to be paranoid. You had an egg crack inside you. You're cracked out. You got a few eggs loose. It's not often, but I'm that happens on the show. I'm speechless. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat eggs again without being reminded of my immense stupidity. Moral of the story. Don't put things that don't belong inside of you. And for the love of God, don't use eggs. Or go for 10. Go for 10. Yeah. Why not? Jesus.